In this video, we are going to solve a problem on analogous systems. In the problem, we are given the system and then we will draw the nodal diagram for the system. Then we will write the nodal equations and then using the nodal equations, we will find the nodal model of the system. So let's take a problem. <music> we have to determine the mathematical model equations for a mechanical system and this system is given to us this is the rigid surface through which the springs k1 k2 and k3 are connected then we have the springs in between m3 and m2 which is k2 3 and spring between m2 and m1 is k1 2 we have the three dampers b1 b2 and b3 and three mass elements m1 m2 and m3 then we have three displacements x1 x2 x3 and the external force acting on the system is f so now we are going to determine the mathematical model so for mathematical model first we will draw the nodal diagram of this system in nodal diagram we take the three displacements as the three nodes in the system and uh, first we will draw the reference line and then all these elements which are connected between the nodes or associated with these displacements they are connected through the nodes so let's solve this problem first we will draw the reference line Then we have the three displacements x1, x2, x3. So three nodes are there. This is x1, x2 and x3. Now between the x3 and the rigid surface we have k3, b3 and m3. So x3 displacement it is associated with these three elements spring, damper and mass. So we are going to connect this x3 node and the reference line the three elements m3 this is m3 this is k3 and this is B3. Now in between X2 and the reference line we have K2, B2 and M2. So X2 and the reference line we are going to draw the three elements. M2 k2 and b2 x1 and the reference line will have m1 this uh, k1 b1 is connected between m2 and x1 so it will not be considered only m1 and k1 are connected with the reference line and this force is also acting on this displacement so we will have here the external force f the mass element m1 and the spring k1 now between these x2 and x1 we have k12 and the b1 damper so they are connected between the x1 and x2 node so here we will have the parallel combination this spring is k12 and damper is b1 between x2 and x3 we have this k23 so k23 will be connected between these two nodes so this completes the nodal diagram of the system now using this nodal diagram we are going to write the equations for node x1 x2 and x3 so let's write the equations 
x1 the external force acting is ft and the internal forces are m1 k1 due to this k12 and due to the damper so external force ft will be equals to m1 d2 x1 upon dt square plus this k1 x1 plus k12 for k12 we have x1 minus x2 and also this damper is connected between these two nodes so for b1 we will have dx1 upon dt minus dx2 upon dt so this is the nodal equation at node x1 now at node x2 at x2 no external forces acting only internal forces are there so m2 k2 b2 this k12 b1 and k23 all are acting on this x2 so we will write here the k12 b1 will be equal to m2 x2 and b2 okay so here at node x2 we will have k12 this is x2 minus x1 so for k12 we will write x2 minus x1 and for b1 also we are going to write x2 minus x1 we can write here x2 minus x1 then plus we have this m2 k2 and b2 so m2 dx2 upon d2 x2 upon dt square then for k2 we have x2 and for b2 we have dx2 upon dt and this is equals to 0 now we are going to write the nodal equation at node x3 so at node x3 we will have this k23 m3 k3 and b3 so for this k23 we are going to write x3 minus x2 when we consider this k23 in the x2 node then we will write k23 multiplied with x2 minus x3 so here we are going to write another term for this plus k23 x2 minus x3 and when we write this for node x3 we are going to write k23 x3 minus x2 then plus this m3 k3 and b3 so for m3 we have m3 d2 x3 upon dt square so we have written the nodal equations for all the three nodes for node x1 we have this first equation for node x2 we have this second equation and for node x3 we have this third equation so the mathematical model of this system is the nodal equations at the three nodes x1 x2 and x3 so in this problem we have find out the mathematical model of a system whose diagram was given to us first we draw the nodal diagram and then using the nodal diagram we have written the nodal equations so i hope that this problem is clear to you thank you